Hey guys, just as a reminder, we're giving away this mystery power box. If you want in to win, remember to click the link in the description below and remember to like, subscribe, and comment on that video specifically. Tell your friends and good luck. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon OGs. The original gamers. I'm Chris. I'm Brandon. Today guys, we have a mega mystery power box. We were able to get our hands on one of these bad boys in hopes of actually seeing what we can get. Um, now there's a lot of crazy random things you can get in this though. Now that's like that's the intriguing part. So on the front of it, it's gonna say five booster packs plus one mystery pack, two vintage preview or sample packs, and one foil card. Now the question is, is when you say vintage, I automatically think basic jungle that. But I mean, well, we, we gotta throw in all I these mean, other series too, yeah. the Neo series. Neo and series are kind of cool. That would be cool because we haven't opened one of those in forever either. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the back real quick. This is for weird. All of you who this is seen where it. this is where it gets random. Exactly. So obviously we're gonna get a lot of the X and Y series. Um, we're gonna get the vintage booster pack, and then right over here we're gonna see a PSA graded card. Now. I don't think we're gonna get anything too super rare, considering you know it's gonna be a but randomized card that someone's put in. You could also get an oversized card. Exactly. So each box also includes one oversized, one code card, one randomly inserted bonus item, including graded cards, um, the sticker sheets, and more. So kind of a mystery right there. <laughs> they call it mega mystery, <laughs> right? <laughs> so. Um, but is this, it worth forty nine ninety? Yes, exactly. Like that was nine ninety five. Yeah, so let's just say fifty bucks, rounding up, and then whatever taxes. And we found these at Walmart. Exactly. So I mean, the biggest reason I did get this is just to kind of see what is it's worth. Is it worth it to everybody? Is it worth it just to certain collectors, or is it just one of those things you go out and buy on? <laughs> yeah, it's really funny with this whole box thing with Fourth of July right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of like fireworks you get. Because <laughs> 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 like sometimes those boxes come with just junk in them. Mm -hmm. And then there's other ones that are actually pretty good, but I guess they are all the same. Exactly. But these aren't. But um, um, so I'm gonna try and open this thing. And once and again, we always forget a you knife. Can never get knife or scissors. So as we do that, we will be right back. Yeah. All right. So we got our knife this time. We are ready to get this thing cut on open. You're gonna cut yourself. Never that. Put it down so I don't. <laughs> We can just slide this on out. Sounds like we get a coin, right? <laughs> Always gotta throw in a bunch of those. I just feel like they have a whole warehouse just full of those things. And anything they possibly like try to give out, they're like, let's throw at least three of these in there. Alright, so let's open it straight from the top. And let's see what we're gonna get here. And I'm just pulling out everything. So here is our mega oversized card right there. That's Pretty cool employee on break. Kind of bet, no. No, I don't think so, no. Okay. And then, oh, we even get a pin. Look at that. That's your special bonus item. Is that? Yep. Shut up. Yep. That really is the, the special bonus item? Yep. No graded card for us. Wow. That's pretty weak, actually. Oh, and then I get my, my coin, of course. Pikachu. Right there. Who is it? That is the uh, three oh, starters three. from oh. the Gen 3. That were in every single... Yeah. So I was kind of under the impression that we were automatically hey, going to get look. a graded card, right? No, 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 no. It says or graded card. It's on the back. So it's all random then? Yeah. Okay. You're not going to get a graded card. Well, that stinks. Because I was hoping for one. Well, then we're just going to keep buying them until we get a graded card. Yeah. At 50 bucks a piece? It's a lot. All right. So, oh, That's there's our... So that luck. is our vintage pack right there, the Platinum Arceus. And then we have Primal Clash, Ancient Origins. Nice. We have a black and white sample pack, and then we oh look at that Growlithe, and then another white black or er, black and white uh, preview pack, and then of course the, the code card and sample and preview. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to open them to find out, honestly. Um, and it is a break point. So it was a break point. Yeah. Pack. Alrighty then. So I mean, so far. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. I'm right blinded there. by the light. Yeah. <laughs> So far, uh, I don't know oh, if it's worth okay. it out of all the things that we've gotten. I'll turn that around. <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and let's check out what's in our X and Y packs first, and then we'll kind of get to those sample packs and everything else later. Those sample packs are kind of cool. Being that it's black and white. Right. So we got Ancient Origins up first, guys. And right there, I don't believe those matter. Nope. I'm going to go three. And we got the special energy to start it off. Wounds caught. Oh, that's a good uh, best queen. 
I'm not sure if it's still allowed in normal play. And then Ooh, Lugia EX right is. there. That's a good start right there. That's, along with the Lucky Helmet that's Reverse. That's the one in the Lugia. The, uh, what's it called? The new, uh, the decks that yeah, they came out the with. The reprints, decks. I think. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that was not a bad pull right there. So let's go ahead and go on to Primal Clash now. See what we get here. And we're going to get another code. And you know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to give this one away since we pulled an EX. I think we need to start doing that. Every time we get an EX... We'll go ahead and start giving away those code cards for that pack. Alright, so we got a Bunnel Bee, Electric, Bolt Bee, Spinda, Mudkip, Vespi, Probo Pass, and then another EX, Carnivore EX. Very nice. Oh, well, there's the code card. Yeah, there's the code card right there for it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's go on to the glue. Furious, or I'm sorry, Flashfire. I almost said Furious Fist. So in this one, I'm really not familiar with Flashfire. I guess it's Charizard that's the good one? There's a couple good ones. Um, I know the, I believe it's the uh, Lucario EX was the big one in these ones. Um, but otherwise, I'm not exactly sure. I wasn't a huge I know there's a Flashfire. Cool, there's a couple Charizards. Mm -hmm. Got a Duskull right there, Torkoal, and then a Scrafty. So nothing too hot there. Let's go on to our Phantom Forces. This is really an interesting box. I mean... You get a lot of random packs, which that's, is cool. That's the cool part. But the thing but is, is if, it, it's you know... It's the price point. Yeah, exactly. 50 bucks is quite a bit. 40... And we're going to get a Diggers B as our special right there. So still... 40 Nothing too been. good, guys. Because uh, you get what? Roaring Skies. Five packs... You get five packs plus uh, the sample packs. I mean, I. that's another thing. Are you guaranteed the sample packs? It said two. Um, sample or preview. And yeah. You got one of each. And then the vintage pack. That was the yeah, one thing no, that the sold me pack, was you automatically get the vintage pack that, for that, it. That, I guess that's kind of where you get your money back. Yeah. And then we got a Deoxys Hollow right there. So that's Because if you think about it, anything, right anything older than XY mm -hmm. is worth about 10 bucks. Exactly. So, we got three packs left, and there are special packs. Should we leave the vintage one for the last, and we'll do the first two? Yeah, let's do All the All right, so which one do you want to do first? Black and white are really... Ooh, man. Go... Well, let's... What is it? Let's preview the pack, and mm -hmm. then we'll sample it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, I don't what's know what's the difference. What the, they're both yeah, have exactly. three cards, right? I'm guessing that they're uh, from different, like, actual, like, Giveaways. Setup. Yeah. yeah, because... I know one, I think it was for Evolutions, Target did a three-pack giveaway. Yeah. For Halloween. V-Dev, Purloin. Oh, there's five in there. Yeah. And that's why. That is why. So I thought there was three cards. I believe, no. So the preview pack comes with the five. The sample pack is going to come with the three. So I think the sample packs are like the Dollar Tree packs. Kind of an idea of that. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Dollar Tree before Let's they were find Dollar Tree. Out. Right? So okay, let's see. I hope we get something cool. That's what I'm saying. You got a Woobat. And then nothing else Hello? besides... What is this? Oh, oh and then this is actually going to be the checklist for the cards itself. And then a couple of the other games and stuff on the back. So that's not, not too bad. Something a little nifty, something a little cool. But honestly, I think if I was a collector, I would just say keep it sealed mm. up. Don't even bother opening it. Yeah. Um, but the reason we did it is for the channel's sake. So let's move on to our vintage pack right here, guys, and let's see if we're going to get anything cool. Looks good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> have you ever opened one of these? I have not. So that's, that's kind of new to me. What year is this? Uh, let's see if it says on the pack. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm not seeing a year at all. So I am not quite sure. So I think we're going to have to look that up and then put it in the description as well unless you can find it and i'm not even going to do a card trick guys because i don't even know if there's a card trick to these we got a wingle right there a cool looking bee drill right 2009. there pony top okay and then a pichu awesome i haven't seen pichu in forever in these series and then we got a luxio and a warm dumb it's right here so that's pretty cool and i think our pichu is going to yes it is going to be our special let's look at the baby evolution once during your turn before you attack you may put P uh Pikachu from your hand onto Pichu. This counts as evolving and remove all damage counters from Pichu. So that's pretty cool right there. And then also the no energy needed to use the baby steps attack. Oh, wait a minute. You put... So you're basically evolving him, but he's allowing you to do it during your turn, basically. Um, but uh, you said it was 2009? Yeah, it says that if you want to 
so it's gonna it's be really hard to literally see. Literally underneath where you ripped. Yeah, right there. 2009. But yeah, so overall, do we think it's worth it? That's fifty dollars. You're not necessarily guaranteed anything special. We were lucky enough to pull the Lugia and the Guard of War EX. Uh, the big jumbo cards are always cool, but kind of take up a lot of space. Got the cool pin. And the cool, I have the pin though. That's the problem. That's one of those pins that comes with the Ancient Origins uh, blister pack. So mm -hmm. it's to you. Do you honestly think is it worth it? Seeing that I was the one who bought this and you haven't bought one yet. I say, I say yes, only for the fact is you get that vintage pack. But even if you think about the basic pack, it's not going to be worth fifty dollars. True. I mean, unless you're as you far as money something. goes. No, as far as collecting goes, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so how about we know. do this? How about we do this? Why don't you go ahead and reach behind you real quick and pull out what I got right back there. And so I went and bought another one, guys. So the reason I did this is to kind of see, is it really worth it? Even out of, you know, I know 100 tries, you could get a ton of different odds. But I think two times is enough to basically say, you know, do I really want to go back and buy one? And if you get a graded card, that would probably make it worth it right there. Exactly. Because even, even if it's a PSA 9 EX card... You're looking at at least $25. Exactly. So that's what I'm really curious to find out. So guys, that's all we have time for you today. Please remember, if you have any questions, comments, or any statements, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. Uh, check out our other videos, guys. We have a ton of other content. We're giving that giveaway out. Um, you know, look forward to that. And basically, all that's said to be left is please stay tuned for that next Mega Mystery Power Box. And uh, keep it OGs. OGs? OG. <laughs> oh, keep it OG. <laughs> hey guys, if you like that video, go ahead and check out a couple of our other videos. They're pretty cool, and I think you'll like them. Especially that one in the corner. Oh, what about that other one? I kind of like the one on the bottom, too. Oh, that one's a good one. Ooh, look at that logo. You can subscribe. Mmm.